Hello, welcome to the Arena Assembly Guide. For the first part, we're going to put the bottom structure together, then we're going to attach the desktop. After that, we're going to have the net underneath. To begin, we're going to start with the leg and the feet, and we're going to attach those. So what we're going to want to do is have the leg facing this way and attach it so it's perpendicular with the box at the bottom of the leg. Put the screws in diagonally. For the next part, you're going to want to have the two larger metal pieces that has the L and the R representing the left and the right side. There's going to be two sets of those, and what you're going to do is attach those two larger pieces to the smaller one. What's going to happen is these four holes are going to attach to these four holes on the smaller metal piece. So when you attach it, these flaps are going to be at the bottom side of the table. Attach them with the L facing forward, and you want the screw into that side. Once you're done with the, uh, inserting the screws into the metal rails for both sets, you're going to want to line them up with the holes to the legs with the box facing inwards. So once they're lined up, you're going to want to have packet C. screws and washers, and then insert them into the holes. And these you're going to also want to have a little bit loose as well. And for the next part, you're going to want to have the table on a protected surface with the bottom part facing up. And all you got to do is just simply put it together. Then you're going to have the understructure and just place it on top. So it lines up with the holes on the table. And then you're going to take the screws and put them in each of the holes. And again, you're going to want to have it a little bit loose. Once you get all 14 screws in, you can start tightening them. Then you're going to take the package E screws, which are for the, the net. And you're going to put them in these holes and in these. And then one here, here, this one, and this one right here. And then lastly, you're going to put on the net. And up. Then if you'd like to adjust the feet, all you have to do is screw them in or out to find the right level. If you'd like to adjust the height, all you have to do is loosen this screw right here with your Allen wrench and find the height that fits you and then tighten it. And then finally, for the full surface mouse pad, just got to roll it out. And place it on top. And there you have it. Your new arena desk is all assembled. For more gaming gear like chairs, desks, glasses, and microphones, you can go to rosie.com or rosie.se. Meet the electric standing desk from Very. You can change the way you work with just the touch of a button. This sturdy standing desk features a steel frame and stability crossbar. And with easy to attach legs, assembly only takes minutes, saving you time and money. Three programmable settings let you easily save your preferred height, giving you just the right fit up to 50 and a half inches high. And a quiet, powerful motor lets you go from sitting to standing smoothly and easily. Plus, an easily accessible cable management tray is included to keep your cables and cords organized. This electric standing desk comes in several heavy-duty finishes that can suit any style. Plus, the commercial quality construction means it's built to last. Our full collection of office furniture and accessories helps elevate your workspace, making it happier, healthier, and more productive. The Electric Standing Desk from Very. Steve with Eureka Gaming. Today I want to show you how to assemble the new Eureka Z60 Gaming Desk.
Come on, let's go get it done. The Eureka Z60 gaming desk is simple to assemble and takes about 30 minutes. Unbox your desk and arrange your parts neatly for easy access. First, we'll assemble the frame, making sure to have the side with the majority of the holes facing up, sliding together the two pieces of the frame. Secure the frame together with the two frame brackets and eight number three frame screws provided. Now position your legs securing the shortest end to the frame with the four number one frame screws, screwing them down snug but not too tight. Locate the red leg supports and using the built-in nut, attach the support to the leg using a number one and number three frame screw on each. Once the legs are secure, screw in all four feet that will be adjusted later to level your desk. On a large, non-abrasive, even surface, like a rug or a carpet, align the two pieces of your desktop face down, securing them together with the two desktop joining brackets and four number three screws. As you tighten these brackets into place, pull the two pieces of the desktop together to make sure you have no gap and an even surface. You can loosen these later to adjust your desktop. Now place your frame on the completed desktop and align to the eight threaded holes. Using the eight number two frame screws, secure the frame to the desktop snug but not too tight. Now you can firmly tighten down the remaining frame screws from the previous steps before flipping the desk over with a partner to install the moldings. Now that we have the desk flipped over, we can attach the foot moldings to the desk, firmly screwing them into place. Once you have completed the foot moldings, it's time to install the desktop moldings with RGB lighting. Align your side and corner moldings to the appropriate pre-threaded holes, running the wires for the RGB lighting through the grommets on the desktop and firmly screwing them into place with the eight number four screws.
Next, we'll climb under the desk to snap the wiring harnesses together for each molding as shown. Securing the wires to the underside of the desktop with the included cable management ties. Positioning the ties to fit your needs. Lastly, we'll affix the stickers to the legs, aligning them with the leg edge. Now it's time to plug your desk into your computer's USB port and start gaming on your new Eureka Z60 gaming